right, it's 9.35 on Friday morning. And this is where we camped. Uh, showed you a little bit when we got in here last night. It was not that late, but it was, I guess, because of where we are down in this uh, valley that uh, it was dark early in here, it seemed like. So there is water here. And uh, we're heading out to uh, hike our last 10 miles back to that US 220. Um, <clears throat> For this for this uh, section hike, so we will uh, try to get out <clears throat> in the pretty morning. Get off to a good start here. Hopefully, it won't be too much uphill out of the gate. Of course, it looks like it might be. All right, we'll talk to you later. So we're just 20 minutes in to the. Day's hike and uh, she's probably in, still in the 30s, I suppose. Maybe in, into the upper 30s. Uh, it's going to be a warm day, I think. Warmer than yesterday, but yesterday was not bad at all. But anyway, especially warm up just a little bit. And it was supposed to go down to 28 last night, but. When I looked at the thermometer we have with us inside the tent, uh, it said 34 before daylight. So I don't know if it was that cold here or what happened there, but it didn't seem to get down into the 20s. Uh, I didn't see any frozen water or anything like that this morning. Any puddles down by the creek there um, where we camped. But it's a nice day today. Uh, on a cloud in the sky again. Lots of these days in September, I mean September, excuse me, October. Uh, so it's been a nice uh, month for hiking for sure. Weather, uh, temperatures, we've had a few colder snaps. It's probably the coldest. And, uh, but nothing was really that bad. And had a bunch of really good days on the other hand. Few, few days of rain, we were able to miss most of them. I think we only stayed out in the rain one night. I had a lot of rain to deal with because we were lucky to dodge most of them by uh, taking zeros where we kind of needed to anyway. So um, that's how that went down. But <clears throat> weather's been great for the entire trip. We've enjoyed it. And we were warm last night with our, uh, we, you know, we changed over to our warmer gear. Uh, as far as our sleeping bags, we carried our warmer bags and they were, we were real warm. No problem there. All right, we'll check in later. start so we heard this section's not too difficult so we'll see how it turns out but we got a doesn't show up on video I'm sure but we got a nice valley off to our left of the farms uh, real real nice landscape to look at um, Virginia has beautiful farms they are just gorgeous but anyway we're still making pretty good progress and uh, We'll check in later. This little rock outcropping uh, just came up on our left. So this is what we can see through the trees. 
when we're walking uh, through the on the trail, as we can see this valley. So this is an un unobstructed view now, but uh, it's beautiful down. Yep. All right, we'll check back in later. All right, we just took a quick break, probably about 20, 30 minutes most. Uh, took off a couple layers. It's up to about 56 degrees and uh, Still had on a little bit too many layers for that, so I took some uh, some of those off and had a quick bite, some water, and we were at a little overlook, so had a good view. So back at it. Um, so it looks like we got about 6.8 to go to get to uh, Highway 220, Belleville. And that's right where the truck is parked near there. So we're on our way again. And the trail's still been pretty, pretty nice. Um, some minor ups and downs and a few rocks and roots here and there, but some areas where it's real smooth. So it's been a real nice walk. But anyway, we will uh, check in in a bit. Here we are getting our first real good view of the Carbons Cove Reservoir. I can't remember the name of it right now. It's not showing up on my bar out. But uh, anyway, there's some haze on the mountains behind. And I think some of that's due to some wildfires that are in the area. They're not close to here. I don't smell it or anything, but it seems awfully hazy for a beautiful fall day. Anyway, not sure, but that could be the case. But this is a real, real pretty lake down here. It's a little bit low. You can see the edges of it. Lack of rain in the area. So uh, anyway, we're off to the races. About 12.30 now. We're about four and a half, 4.7 from the end of the hike, uh, Belleville. Highway 220. So uh, we just had a pretty steep, rocky uphill session. That was the first steep hill of the day, maybe. Real steep. We're going uphill now, but not too bad. Um, but anyway, the uh, temps have warmed on up. I don't know. It must be 
in the upper 50s, I don't know. Just, I'm sweating a little bit. And uh, especially after that climb. But anyway, we're still making pretty good time. Um, 12.30, we'll probably stop and eat something here when we find a good place. So. We're staying at a pretty low elevation today. We're, we're not up, you know, at 3,000 or higher. We're more like 1,200, 1,500 most of the day, it seems. But still hilly, just much lower today in elevation. We have been most of the trip. Anyway, we'll check in later. is called Hay Rock. Today's our last day on the trail for this section. We've done Southern Virginia, made it from Damascus to the Triple Crown. So when we started this trip, we didn't have any plan as to how long we were gonna be out here or how far we were going or anything like that. We just kinda came out here with no expectations a couple weeks ago we decided this was probably a great stopping point for us because it'll be easy to pick back up here later and our bodies need rest you know we've taken days off but we need some rest I'm very proud of us we're very much we're stronger physically and mentally. We've gotten along really well on this trip. We've made, we've listened to each other. We've made decisions together. Never got in an argument. So I'm just blessed to have Brent to share all this with. And we've been talking about these videos. They're really for us because when you're out here for so long, things kind of, you forget about certain pieces. And we've really enjoyed going back and looking and remembering what we've done. Because this is a, not too bad for two folks in their 60s. Come out and walk 260 miles. So, in a month. But yeah, we did. And, we're gonna keep doing this and, until we can't. So, just because we finished this, this just a section, 
There's a lot more the trail we'll be doing. But this has been an awesome experience, something I've dreamed of since I was a teenager. So it's very cool to be able to do this and to be able to do it with my best friend. Awesome. Alrighty. Looks like we got some more rocks. But man, I'm doing much better on these than I was when we started. See you down the trail. There's the airport. I don't know if you can see it. Here. Yeah, it's just beautiful. That's where we're going. Okay, we're two miles away from Daleville now. I think we're looking down into the Daleville area. Um, and we're crossing under a big power line again. So, Not much longer. It's been an epic journey. It's been challenging. Don't let anybody tell you the AT's not challenging. We knew it was. And uh, we were ready for it, but you know, it still throws curveballs at you. And you just have to figure out how to get through them all. But overall, it's been a fantastic epic adventure and exactly what I was looking for and I think Debbie too um, I'll let her tell you about that but uh, it's been a lot of fun we'd love having the truck with us uh, so on the days off we're able to uh, do some other things which frees you up a lot and makes it a lot more fun and uh, we certainly enjoyed that aspect of what we're doing um I'm not sure when we'll uh come back to finish the northern virginia part but we will one day and uh we'll probably do some of the other sections of the at south in north you know georgia north carolina tennessee too before we might come back up this way we don't have a real plan and that's been fun too not having a, an exact plan we we didn't know how far we'd go when we started this. Um, we just knew we'd give it a whole month and a little bit more, maybe so. And we've done that. Once we got to about halfway point, we realized that we could probably make it to Daleville, get past the Triple Crown, which would be a great accomplishment. And we wanted to see those points of interest. So we, uh, we set that as a, a goal and we've got it done it's the third of, of november so this is our 36th day since we started hiking back in damascus and of those 36 we've hiked 29 of them 29 excuse me uh we've hiked 26 of them 27 of them uh, 27 of the 36 days yes we've hiked and we're going to do about end up with a ride at 260 miles and that puts us at about a 9.6 mile average day on the days we hiked. So luckily for us of the nine days we took off, a majority of those were rainy days that were cold, 40 degrees, blowing rain. Um, so there weren't that many of 
days was and they didn't rain that many inches but it was just windy cold and blowing rain they, they even had some snow in some areas on a couple of those fronts that came through they were scattered and we were able to take some days off when that was happening a couple of them we took off on uh here in the last week or so we've taken off on nice days and gotten to enjoy some of the other sites and around the area and certainly enjoyed doing that debbie hurt her foot about halfway and she was able to ice it and soak it and keep it good enough to keep going she battled through it and did a terrific job on that so glad that we were able to keep going and uh, complete this uh, this journey so we'll uh, let you know when we get toward the very end we're like so we're within the last two miles of the hike and uh, we'll keep you posted as we get closer down here to Daleville what's going on Looks like a switchback. All right, we're about uh, half a mile from uh, Highway 220. We can hear it. And uh, this is Tinker Creek. So, across it here. And uh, it's probably a, a really low area normally. Haven't had enough rain. There's been a lot of boardwalk sections through here and stuff like that so it's uh, dry as it can be right now but uh, I think a lot of times this is stuff in the spring probably it's pretty wet so anyway we'll check in here a bit so here's where we are crossing 220 and there's where we're going is down there just a little ways to the Super 8 where our truck is. You can see the sign. But uh, we've got to get across this road. And over there you can see the two white blazes on that tree. That's where the northbound AT picks up. We have come to the end of our first section hike of the Appalachian Trail. Did 260 miles. Damascus to Delville. We did it. <laughs> yes, we did. And it was a perfect month of hiking. Couldn't yep. beat the weather. was overall just fantastic. The only problem was it was a little dry for water. But we found all the water we needed. Yep and uh we didn't have muddy trails to deal with so it was wonderful weather and uh we averaged about 9.6 miles a day that we hiked had a couple of short days that we threw in there um, and then a couple of long ones but overall we feel pretty good about what we got done what was your favorite part um probably uh you know, I don't know. I, I would say that some of your favorites. That night we spent up at the, the, uh, the rice field. The rice field shelter was awesome. The night we spent at the chestnut, chestnut knob. knob shelter was awesome. Uh huh. Maxie Knob and Dragon's Tooth and Tinker Cliffs were all great. Yeah. Um, Grayson Highlands. And the Grayson Highlands. So Burke's Gardens. Burke's Garden. There's just so many neat yeah. things we saw. All the neat people. Great shuttle drivers. Great hostels. And. Uh, other helpful people that we uh, talked to along the way. Mm -hmm. So we'll yep. let you know when we get ready to do another piece. And uh, now we've got to figure out what scenic route we're going to take home. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We'll let you know. We'll keep you posted. Bye. Bye.